Hey there Dev Squad, Furtis here and welcome back to my Blender 3D modeling tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be taking a look at some of the different physical asset types such as our meshes, our curves and our surfaces. We're going to be breaking these down, explaining what they do, how to create them and some of the different keyboard um, shortcuts that we're going to need to create these different types of assets. What we'll also be doing is showing you some basic manipulation for a mesh as well. So the first type of physical asset that you're going to use for your modeling is your mesh and a mesh is pretty straightforward. A mesh is an object which is built up of polygons. Now with our cube which is in our scene by default if you press tab to go into your editing mode you can see exactly that. So if I scroll in you can see my cube is made up of polygons which are the faces. Now what you've got between these faces is your vertices and if you wanted to you could go ahead and select these just by hovering your mouse over it and then using your right click. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of what a mesh is and how it is going to work. What you can also do while you're inside of this editing mode is apply some basic transformation to these vertices. So I can move them backwards, forwards, left, right, and all of that good stuff. And I can make these fancy looking shapes like this. And this is just basically our first look at making our own custom shapes inside of Blender. Now we're going to be doing a whole bunch more on this as we go through the series. So I'm going to leave it just here for now. That is your mesh. Press tab again to go back into your object mode and we can take a look at some of the different types of assets. So if you want to create a mesh, the way you're going to do this is while you're in your object mode, go to your create tab and at the top here, you have got a list of your meshes. So if I wanted to, I could create a UV sphere. Now, if I want to tell Blender where I want that sphere to go, what I'm going to do is use my 3D cursor. And you can do this just by hovering your mouse wherever you want it to go, press left click and what that's going to do is place this little crosshair within your scene and that is going to be your location for whenever you construct a mesh. So if I go to my create tab at this UV sphere you can see it has centered itself on that 3D crosshair. So with this object that we've just created I can once again just use the normal transformation on it. If I press tab to go into my editing mode, you can see this is also built up of polygons, which are the faces and then your little vertices as well. And with this, once again, you can apply basic transformation to them to move them left, right, backwards, forwards, up, down. And you can also select multiple of them by holding down shift and then just doing your right click selection and you can move them all at once. It's entirely up to you. But once again, like I said, a little bit more on that as we get deeper into the series. So that is our mesh. Straightforward, it's just a polygon based object. Now, if we go to the other menu for creating objects, go back into your object mode by pressing tab you can hit press shift and A to add another type of object. So the main types, which are the meshes, which is generally what you're going to be using is your meshes. The next one that you've got is your curves. And these can be used for making some basic shapes. However, they're not going to have any polygons or faces on there. I'm not going to talk about these too much for now. So I'm just going to move straight onto our surfaces. Now our surfaces are similar to meshes in the fact that they are going to be 3D objects and you are going to be able to see them. Now if I was to go ahead and create a NURBS sphere, you can see it looks very similar to the other object that I've got here. Now the difference between the two is that my mesh is made up of polygons whereas my NURBS sphere is made up of mathematical equations. And you can see this by going into our editing mode. What we've got here is a basic visual representation of those mathematical um, equations. Now, what you don't have with these is a lot of power in terms of editing. 
And that is why a lot of people prefer to use their meshes instead, as with these, what you're able to do is select them, go into your editing mode, and then just select individual vertices and start moving those around. So hopefully you guys have a better understanding of some of the different shapes now and you know exactly how to create them. And once again, if you want to do that, you can do it by going to the create tab, going through the meshes menu, and um, from there, you can also access your nerves as well by pressing shift A and then just add it in from the surface tab. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.